Sage wall, yeah, they were able to break it, but got a little ahead of themselves off of that. But this is that mid lurk I was talking about. Not really a lurk when the whole team is around it, but you can see Glance very much in the front here. No Viper wall or any setup for them when they do work into this B site. And you have to be concerned about Muffin, an excellent player over here for X10, but gets caught on the timing. Glance and Petra pick up a couple, and the round immediately back in G2's hands. And now trouble for X10. It's all Glance. Finds the third, Alyssa alone, trapped in mid, and G2 has an awareness, a slow orb down for the moment. And that spike is ticking, Mimi spots her, Alyssa will find the first, a second, onto the headshot, she needs just one more glance. Already huge in this round, and now holding down, hiding behind that wall, she has the time on her side. Hitting a spike plant, even with these pistols, would be great, and for X10, on this setup, their goal is to stay away from that retake, to deny early. Up top, Alarmbot will make contact, and Alyssa, she's got the angle. Two frags picked up, and a pretty simple cleanup on the site. Lance is trying to work another one of these lurks, but very aware is Polly on the other side, and support available there by Baby TZ. Lance will find one, though. Has Polly isolated, but would have to push her own Molly to take that duel, which is 35 HP, and support on the way. It's not going to happen. Yeah, really the wall so. is up, and extend is slow on this rotate. Maybe TZ just sort of stuck on this site at the moment, was walled off, so had a little bit of protection, but intelligent to hold time, get the rest of her team to rotate over on here. They have the Viper wall to make things a little bit easier, but face checking in towards Glance. You can see the gun, but no, the kills aren't there for Glance. The Viper pit is going to be coming down, and Mimi from backside finds three, turns it around with Petra on the site for this post. That's the whole idea, right? We're down in numbers, so we don't want to play that sort of, you know, shooting gallery from back yellow. It all comes down to Glance, this first point of contact for G2, but still chances to trade with Mimi lining up and now calling Glance out as the lock down comes in. They're forced to concede that space and baby TZ a well-timed swing onto Petra. Two less standing. Mimi and Glance, they have the time on their side. A Sage Wall is up, a tap on the spike, but no one holding Alyssa. She's gonna try and stick this one down. The swing is there, but she's gotten it half. It's only Glance when she's found three, trying to find something. On the something left side more. of the cans, they would see that and could instantly sort of play back, guard that. Did. Polly gets the kill. That is massive. And Juliano flies into the back lines, gets that opening frag, and wants a little bit more, but Baby TZ locks her down. And the objective has been lost. There's no sight of it for G2. They've gone too fast on this. Execute. And now they have to work all the way back through their spawn, but they're making it happen. Glance and Mary, both were one. It comes down to this pinch, and there's a fight oh, no. for Polly. She'll pop it straight onto the spike. An operator holding on that other angle, and only 20 seconds for G2. This is a catastrophe. I mean, you have, have to, to go in now. You have to sprint into it, but there's an operator outside the pit. How are you going to expect really that? Strange wall for Mimi. Look how deep that is on the site, sort of blocking in any players from you orange, working on towards there. Is able to get the resurrection back yellow too, and. Very aware that Alyssa's gonna try and swing around the side. This round, no flank for X10, but they do have the res. However, none of those players available, and G2 is holding these lines so deep. Juliano, she's received a gift, and she is making use of it. One shot connecting the slow orb down, and Baby TZ just has to swing into this line, and somehow, she'll still get the kill. It's two still just two, two sheriffs. Now. And there's a Sage while they, they need blame. to spam it so quickly. Baby TZ will get this to half. The mollies are there. The wall is still up. Glance needs to stop this. She'll jiggle in and out. Knows the time is on her side, but Ginny, she's attempting to stick on this Lurk. Now they have to set the alarm bells ringing. Someone has to contend with this. This should weaken the whole towards end. But notice, as this res comes through, Ginny is playing much more over towards screens. Baby TZ is able to find one and get that res off. So a big swing and also Viper Utility still up on it. It's going to be hard for G2 to scale. Another layer to this Lurk. Glance keeps pressuring in mid. Ginny actually walking all the way around. There could be backstabs on backstabs in that area of the map, but it's relying on X10 living in the back lines of this site because Glance could beat the time. If she wins against Alyssa, she has this site cracked open. It's Polly alone. It's Petra for three. And it's Ginny in the backside. Glance has this pit up. A dart will go in. Does it spot her? Not quite. She needs this kill now and will be able to grab it now. Just Petra in close and Ginny for two. In the veteran almost close. always here with the chamber dead that opens up lots of opportunities towards B. What is this though? Juliano is the it's new midler for, for G2. No paint shells, I think. They just decided, hey, we don't need the satchels to get in there. So we're going to use her as that thorn in the side of X10. Juliano killing her opposite IGL. Just break open this round for G2. And G2 has been loving this deep wall. With that lurk activated, they hold so much 
space, and Mary is posted on the line. Another shot connected with that operator, Alyssa, the last standing. Xen is locked out of this one. A showstopper on top of it all. Oftentimes, you do see that phase the fade rays separated out from each other. Playing more individual setups, and that wall for Mimi now. That's a fantastic wall. It's so well timed. 40 seconds for that to decay. They'll have to break it, or all funneled through 410. There's a molly to go down as well. There is so much stall There's from There's a paint two, shell, too, from And they Giuliano. have to push straight through. This is a death drop. 10 seconds left for X10. They have a wall of their own, but can they get past Mimi? Not yet. 10 on the clock. The plant not down. And Ginny dead to right. Yeah, and, and Mary's able to get the one in B main as well. Like, you, there's nowhere to go. Petra is stuck there's under bottom side here, too. You're never ready for her to be swinging you on this position. Mary is revealed, and Polly's able to clear here, but there's the stinger in the back. Petra finds one, and it's all chaos here. How do you even plant a spike? But you do have a double flank. They're making their way back around, and they've dropped into spawn two. Juliana for one, and Pauly down. No heroics for her too. this time. Can't actually do that one. Just looking to take another fight. Oh, she is confident. Would you look at that? Three left alive. Viper's pit is down, and the plant coming through. Baby TZ. He'll be able to convert that one. So three versus five. G2. On the retake, resurrection for Mimi, but she's not looking to use it. She wants to fight into this pit. And look, into this pit, you have a Seeker, you have a Seize, you have Paint Shells, you have a Haunt, like so much utility for G2 to flush X10 out of it. There's the first layer, Seize Nade. Shorty for Baby TZ, though. If these players get wounded by the pit, she could find so much value. One HP on Glance, but Baby TZ is down just two. They're deafened, they're dead. Mimi on her third, and Ginny in main. She's trapped, and this one might just be 